Good afternoon, peeps. Well, I gave up the ghost yesterday. We went and got a little grinder because trying to do small cuts with my huge beastie was just not working. So here we go. Cheapest thing I could find. A little sub 20 quid. Yeah, I've got no idea what's in it. Aside the grinder, obviously. Set of destructions. We'll read them at some point. Probably when it doesn't work. A uh, spanner and a handle. One guard. Two guards. And a cable. Yay! I'll file that for later use. Okay, let's get rid of all the crap I don't want. I don't really want to bag. I don't really want to cover. I don't really want that big. Oh, very posh. That'd be a nice, oh no, quick release. Ooh, very, very newbie-ish. If it had come off, that would be even better. Oh, I see. Yeah, take the colours off. To get that off. Very nice indeed. Well, we're going to presume one of these is for grinding. Guard for a guard only for cutting. Why would I want to cut it? It's brand new. It works. Why am I going to cut it? Grindy guard then. Guard only for grinding. See, if you grind it, it's going to be broken. You don't want that. Good God. I wish they'd get the English language. Ugh, oil. Lots of it. Why is there oil there? Did it rust that quickly? Well, it looks successfully cheap. Don't want that bit. File that on the floor for later. Rubber band, don't want that bit. Oh, the switch is not very nice at all. Oh, wow, that you can hear is a rainstorm. Oh, it's a lock on. But you've got to release the lock to get it off again. It won't slide off automatically. Hmm. That's good for when you drop it after chopping your toes off. It'll carry on and cut the rest of your toes off. Minor hitch. Yeah, a bit awful that. Yeah, nice little fan in there, keep it cool. Nice load of holes on an, what looks like sintered. Could be alley, but I doubt it. it. Looks like some cheap shit metal. Yeah, cheap shit other end. Open motor. Yeah, it's about worth expect for less than twenty quid. But I don't do one thing repetitively, so twenty quid tools can last me years. And as long as I get me 20 quid's worth out of them, I absolutely do not give a monkeys. And all these people that go, oh no, we shouldn't buy cheap tools. Well, I'm sorry, but, you know, 20 quid, that saved me 40 quid on a metal bender. I'm up for that. That sounds like a good plan to me. Oh, do we have a direction of spinning? Yes, just there, look. We have a direction of spinning. Are these directional? I just throw them in and go for it. Looks like I throw it in and go for it. Runs out in three years, according to that. Mind you, the blades I was using on the big one yesterday ran out ten years ago. Shouldn't really use them. They could explode. Buy a beware job. As long as you're aware of that, it's not such a huge issue, is it? Collets aren't spark sparkly, he says. Yeah, it works. What the hell? Right, we want a cutting one. That's a cutter, isn't it? Yeah. Specifically, we have two notches. We have no notches on that. Hmm. Where we want it? Right there, you reckon? Yeah, let's go for it. Lock that over. Oh, helps if you put the rest of the bits in. 
It is raining. It is British summertime, and it's breaking it down. It's absolutely hammering it down out there. Well, this thing's about four kilograms lighter than the big one, so that's a bonus in itself. And if I could thread it without my hands dithering every 30 seconds, we'd be doing really well. Yay! Uh, they say not to tighten them down, but just for safety, I always give them a tweak. Shall we have a handle on it? Right or left hand up? Uh, Put in your metal. I think I'll have it on there. Right. I can always swap it, it's not a huge issue. There we go, one handle, one untangled safety code. Now, when I worked in a different industry, I once had a woman phone me up saying she'd smashed all her sockets trying to get the plug in. She'd left the safety cover on yeah, and tried hammering it into every socket in the place she worked until she broke them. So, yeah, remember to take the safety cover off and then throw them on the floor. Works for me until I sweep up later. Right, what's next? Safety instructions, power. Let's go for that power. Let's see how noisy this beast is. I'm being attacked by a bit of wood. Well, that didn't look that good. Why is it cutting its own guard? Let's disconnect the power and see if I put the guard on right. Guard was on right. Aha! But the guard lifts at the back side when you clamp, and you can't clamp it in that position. That's clever. No, nope, not in that position either. Yep, you can do it in that position. That's so good to know, isn't it? Still lifted slightly. On the right, right side, they were correct. It is for cutting mark. <laughs> God, I'm an idiot on a good day. How the hell did I ever pass anything? Got a silly little button on the back to lock it down. Looks like it'll last about 10 minutes. Give it a tweak, see if we can break it again. Power! Ooh, wood on the floor. I did say that once. Wood on the floor, but not in my way. Right, let's see if we can break it again. in the uh, other bit now. I suppose that's a bonus. Let's see if there's anything I should have read in the destructions before we stop this one and have a laugh. General safety. Don't let animals or children near it. Oh my god I can't use it. Uh, in the event of a safety shot turn it off. Yeah okay. Don't cut the cable yet. We'll try not to do that one. Children should be kept out of the work area. I knew there was a reason I kept my kids in the bedrooms. Uh, it's 
special safety instructions. Ooh. Nah, nothing in that bit. Nah, nothing in that bit. Kickback and related warnings. Hey, I want a kickback. I'll have 30 quid. I'll have made a tenner on it then. <laughs> oh dear. Maintain a firm grip on the power tool. Yeah. Never place your hand near the rotating accessory. Cut! No, it's not working. You have to get your hands near it somehow. <sighs> what else? Watch for torque reaction during startup. Never place your hand near. You said that twice now, you idiots. Do not attach saw chain, wood carving blade, or tooth saw blade that create frequent kickback and loss of control. I suppose the answer should be don't let people like me near it as well, but hey, there you go. Wheel types recommended more additional safety warnings for abrasive cutoff operations. Additional safety warning for construction dust. Oh, Jesus. Talk about cover your ass. Some d dusts create powder. No shit. <laughs> Oh dear, if you think it's dangerous, wear a mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Noise information. Well, that one don't apply to me. Deaf as a bat now, so any more noise don't make a fucking difference. I swore doesn't make a buggery of a difference. Vibration emissions. Is that actually a safety thing now? Vibration. Oh, wicked. Oh dear. It's... Hold up, have we got to any usage page yet? No, we're on page one, two, three, four, five of safety warnings, six of safety warnings, seven of safety warnings. Hey, it's the actual item. <laughs> Absolutely wicked. And it's going to tell me there's no use of serviceable parts in this item. Yeah, they always say that. Absolutely ignore them on that bit as well. Operating instructions. Turn on. Cut or grind. Turn off. Don't let go of wave around in front of children. Okay, I can live with that. Installing the guard. I possibly should have read that bit before I ground it. Removing the guard. It's probably the opposite of installing it. I'm Pretty fucking sure about that. Auxiliary handle. Look, if you've got three hands, you can have a handle on this side, a handle on that side. I want to turn it on and off. That's excellent. Where am I going to put my third hand? Use the on off switch to lock the start, lock to start the machine. Excellent English. Got to push the lock switch to prevent any un unintentional operation to start the tool. Push the button on switch to the right without releasing. Push the button forward and reverse this action to turn it off. Vibrating discs must be immediately replaced. Yep, yeah, I don't think so. Gonna vibrate a lot when I wang it through some metal later today. Uh, no, no, not interested. Uh, not interested. Which way do they go round on the discs? Working advice: Don't work for a boss who's a moppy. Warnings: Oh God, more of them. Terms of use: Care and maintenance. Repair of the tool must only be carried out by a qualified repair technician. Yeah, for 20 quid, like I'm going to bother boxing it up, spending £10 on insurance and postage for them to say, Ah, a warranty. Yeah, right, throw it in the bin, get another one. Or if it's under warranty, take it back and say, Hey, this broke. Caution. Don't use it stupidly. Storing. Keep it somewhere dry and safe. 
not in a bucket of water or at the bottom of a pond. I did do that to one quite a while ago. Doesn't do much good dropping drills in ponds. Uh, guarantee, yeah, right. That's what, what 20 lines. What page are we on? 17. Oh my god. Plug replacement, UK and Ireland. Yeah, what sort of plug is it? Oh, it's a proper one. Not moulded on. I thought that was illegal, man. I thought they had to be moulded in the UK. Declaration of conformity. Ooh. There you go. That's the interesting page there. I'm glad I'm showing you this. You must take note of these two pages. Yeah. Failure to do so will result in somebody laughing. Right, what we got here? We've got cutty discs, all of one mil. It's only two inch angle anyway. I got six of them. I got three grindy ones to smooth it all off, which will probably break on me. They always do. And my safety instructions. Two sided. Do you know, after you bought the grinder, buying the discs, and still getting more safety shit, it's ridiculous. There's more plastic and wrapping and safety shit than most people will ever need in a lifetime. And do these people ever think about what they're doing to the environment? No. Do I care? Absolutely not. As long as it's cheap, I don't care. Have a nice day, people. I'll be doing another one later. Have